Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be building a Spring Boot application that integrates a mini I/O uh, for object storage, which is similar to Amazon S3. And uh, we use Docker Compose to set up both services so that they can run together seamlessly. Now, uh, mini I/O. Well, an obstacle storage uh, can help when you're having your application and your story and you need data such as documents, videos, audios, and you don't want that, uh, uh, you don't want to complicate your database. So there is a service called Mio object storage, which is similar to Amazon S3. And uh, so the stack, the, the stack that we'll be using, we'll be using uh, Spring Boot, Java, the Spring Boot framework, and also we'll be using Docker, uh, Docker, yeah, Docker. So uh, what we do, we head to Spring, guess, uh, Spring Initializer. We start the Spring.io. And uh, we use Maven, then we can use a uh, uh, mini IO. Uh, the artifact is a uh, mini IO, then mini IO. The most spring project, mini IO. Object. Object test. Demo. I use Java, use Java 21. Then, then we'll add some uh, dependencies. We need Docker. Uh, yeah. What else we need? Um, then we need, um, and we uh, can add Spring Web. Uh, that will do for now. Then you can hit the generate. Uh, so once you generate, then you go to download a zip, unzip it, and then then open it in a uh, visual code. Ah uh, yes, trust. Check that one. So, so once we open, the first thing we need to do, we need to add the mini IO dependency. So we head to the form file. Then we need to add a dependency for mini IO. Uh, dot menu then the artifact menu the other term then we have the version um, which is eight point five point <coughs> four once we set that, what else we need to do, we need to go to our compose file. Since we are we have installed the Docker, the the, 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 the Docker dependency. So we let's create our service for, for mini IO and for our application. So let's start with version. So let's use version 3.8. Then services have mini IO. Um, let's pull the loop test. The container 
polluting the air or the more and what this this um have this is the um, container port and the, ex, the the font you want to export uh, to expose i mean so since i have other mini ios i want to export a 7000 then the have mini i one two three then we, we can add in a old user as a mini admin then loot password one two one two three there's a typo here then uh we want the this volume volume means that we want our data to be persistent so here we need to have volume and uh, have the mini data don't need the network then the command uh, we, we can use server data and console address 901 well we also need to for the console uh, let's map this point. This port nine zero zero one. Yeah. Then let's uh restart. Let's add restart policy unless unless stopped. Unless stopped, don't don't need to keep restarting unless it has been explicit explicitly stopped. So once we have that, we can. We can just use the can just have one service or mini IO and then on the spoon boot we can just compile it and run it locally. So what we we'll do next we head to the source to the main folder. The source main folder then the Java mini IO application will create a, a package a code configuration then in the configuration what we need is to add the mini io configuration mini io config java then we have to annotate this with configuration configuration yes So what we need, we need the uh, the mini IO URL. Then we need this the access key, and also we need the secret key. Then we need a bin. Yeah. Uh, that uh, will connect will get the mini IO client public mini IO client uh, yeah exactly so what we need we need to head to our application of properties so that we can set the the mini IO configuration mini IO server configuration Yes, we need a uh, local host and then access key, secret key. Mm. Yes, I need the, the package. So we want to 